We are beginning with breaking news in the Israel-Hamas war. Sources telling CNN that the terror group Hamas has released two more hostages who are believed to be Israeli citizens. Anderson? Yeah, as you know, two Americans were released last week. Sources are also saying that today's release is happening with the help of officials from Qatar who are involved in the other release as well, as well as Egypt this time. Uh, CNN Chief National Security Correspondent Alex Marquardt joins us with some details along with CNN anchor Caitlin Collins. Caitlin, let's start with you. What exactly do we know? Obviously, we have some information that we are not giving out until all of this is confirmed because this is still a very fluid situation. They are not in Israel, is my understanding. Right. It's an incredibly fluid situation. And so we are holding off on some of the details while we run those down, because this is a very sensitive situation. We want to make sure we get everything completely right. But what we do know is that two more hostages have been released by Hamas. We are told, I'm told that they're not actually in the custody of the Israeli government yet, but that they are on the way there right now. And so that is part of the sensitivity around this reporting about these hostages, obviously, given um, their situation. But this is significant. I am told that they are both two female hostages that have been released. They, of course, would be only the third and the fourth hostages in total to be released of the hundreds that we do believe, according to the IDF, that Hamas has in their custody at this moment. And so what we are still trying to figure out, Anderson, is whether or not they are dual citizens. We do know they are Israeli citizens, but maybe they have dual nationalities, as we've seen with a lot of these hostages and the people who were abducted by Hamas. So those are details that we are still trying to figure out. But it does appear that this came about from some quiet mediation that was happening behind the scenes with the Egyptian and Qatari governments that have been obviously playing a really significant role in trying to get these hostages released because Israel has made very clear from all officials that they are not personally negotiating with Hamas for, for the release of these hostages. And I do think this is a big part of what we are seeing here when it comes to the timing of what everyone is waiting to happen next in Gaza, which is that Israeli ground invasion that we know officials have said and telegraphed quite clearly is expected to come. There have been discussions with U.S. officials, with other government officials about holding off on that until more of these negotiations for these hostages can happen. And so right now what we are working to confirm is the identities of these two hostages, where exactly they are now, and once they get into the custody of the IDF, which Anderson, as you know, is what happened with those two hostages last week. They came to the Gaza border. They were then given over to the IDF, who brought them to a military base first in central Israel. That's where they greeted their parents before ha and having those medical checkups and obviously kind yeah. of debriefings of what they've been going through. Yeah, and Alex, there's usually this interim step. They're handed, uh, usually uh, Hamas uh, or wherever is holding them, hands them over to the uh, representatives of the international community, the Red Cross, uh, and then they make that transfer to uh, to IDF officials. Um, these are two, there were two, uh, the, the Renans who we talked about uh, last week. Let's talk about the timing of this. Clearly, Hamas has many captives in their custody. They could release all of them if they wanted to, they are releasing them two by two. What does that tell you? Well, it's certainly good news. No one's going to tell you otherwise, Anderson. This is fantastic for those families, as well as for the Ranans uh, who, who saw two of their family members come back on Friday. But no doubt, Anderson, um, whether it's the U.S. or Israel or Qatar, which is leading these negotiations along with Egypt, they would like to see much bigger numbers. I mean, we heard from the IDF earlier today that there are some 222 hostages who are in custody. Um, so uh, we certainly don't want to, 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 to see you know, this, these hostages coming out two by two. Um, the, 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 the Qataris are now pushing for much bigger numbers, say dozens or scores, uh, of the civilians, of the foreigners who are uh, still in custody. Uh, in, in terms of the mechanics, Anderson, uh, you know, obviously Hamas is not going to come face to face with Israeli officials as they hand over prisoners. Um, so you have the UN, which operates independently inside Gaza. You have the Red Cross, which operates uh, fairly independently inside Gaza. And so what has happened today, we understand, as, as like it did on Friday, the same mechanism of Hamas handing these two captives over to the Red Cross. Uh, they will then be taken to somewhere along the border. We don't know where. There are two uh, formal large border crossings in southern Gaza. One goes into Egypt, one goes into Israel. But frankly, there are, there are a number of places all along that fence line 
uh, where you are seeing today all of those Israeli troops, uh, where the Red Cross could then hand those two Israeli women over uh, to the IDF. As Caitlin mentioned, uh, they would then likely be taken to a military base. They would get checked up to make sure that they're okay. Um, Hamas has claimed that uh, the, the previous release was for humanitarian reasons. Uh, it's not clear uh, what shape the Hanan women are, are, are in. Uh, but we do understand from the White House today that the, the U.S. that uh, U.S. officials have debriefed or are going to debrief uh, the two Americans. Uh, to, to gather intelligence, to get a sense of uh, where they were held, how they were held, and any other kind of information that they could glean um, from those two women. But Anderson, certainly the bottom line here is uh, that uh, everyone wants to see a lot more hostages being released, um, and that is why there is this pressure on the Israeli government to delay their incursion into Gaza. Anderson. Yeah, and the International Committee of the Red Cross has, has repeatedly requested access to all the hostages who remain uh, in Gaza, they have not been allowed access. They've also requested proof of life. Uh, last uh, we heard they had not uh, received any of that uh, from, uh, from those holding them, uh, Islamic Jihad or, or Hamas. Uh, 